So this person here has inherited one gene from mum and one gene from dad, and they're different. So they are alleles. They are alleles. Alleles are different versions of the same gene. So they're different versions of the same gene. We're going to be looking at the inheritance of eye colour. So mum has the gene for brown eyes and dad has the gene for blue eyes. Big B is brown, little b is blue. So what does this mean? The child is going to have big B, little b alleles, whereby the big B is dominant and the little b is what we call recessive. The little b, the little letter is recessive. That means that this person has got the big B gene, which will give her or him brown eyes because the dominant gene will always be expressed over the recessive. We're now going to use a Punnett square to cross a mum which has got big B, little b, so they're going to have brown eyes, and a dad who's got little b, little b, blue eyes. So now we draw the Punnett square like this, and then you transfer the potential gametes into the Punnett square so the mum will be big B, little b. That is what the child can inherit from the mum, and the dad will be little b, little b. So that is what the child can inherit from the father. So you do a cross big B, little b, little b from dad little b from mum, and then big b from mum, little b from dad, and then little b from both parents. You can now use the Punnett square to predict the chance of having a brown eyed child. So in this case it's two out of four because big b little b is brown eyes, so the dominant brown, so that will be a 50% chance of having brown eyes. Blue would be little b little b little b little b, so that's going to be a 50% chance of having a blue eyed child. So now homozygous, but the alleles are the same. So homozygous is not big B, little b, it is little b, little b. So the homozygous chance is going to be 50%. So that means there's going to be a 50% chance for the heterozygous big B, little b alleles to be inherited. This next example is going to show a mum which has got big B, little b, and a father which has got big B, little b. Because they've both got the dominant big B allele, that means that they're going to have brown eyes. If you want to attempt the Punnett square for big B, little b, then pause the video now to do it yourself. One parent, the father, is going to pass on the big B or his little b allele. So the big B for brown eyes, the little b for blue eyes. Same for the mother. The mother is able, when she's got brown eyes, she's able to pass on her big B brown allele or her little b blue allele. So in this example, the father and mother both pass on their dominant big B alleles. So the kid will be brown eyes. In this one, it's big B little b. In this one here, the mother passed on the big B and the father little b. But in this one here, even though they both got brown eyes, they both pass on their recessive blue allele gene to their child. So you've got two brown eyed parents that are going to produce one out of four chance probability blue eyed child. So the video is now paused for you to attempt to figure out the percentage chance of brown, blue eyed, heterozygous genotypes or homozygous genotypes. So pause the video now to attempt. So the probability of a brown eyed child is going to be 75% because in three out of four of them, the big B allele is present. So remember, the big B allele will always be dominant over the recessive blue eyes. So the percentage chance for brown eyes is going to be 75%. Now the chance for blue eyes, remember that for blue eyes, it has to be two recessive alleles, little b, little b, because if the big B is present, in like in the other three, that means that it will be brown eyes. So the percentage chance for blue eyes is 25%. One in four chance that two brown eyed parents will have a blue eyed baby. Heterozygous, different alleles. Big B, little b, big B, little b. So that means that two out of four are going to be heterozygous. Big B, little b. Whereas the homozygous genotypes are going to be big B, big B. That's going to be a homozygous genotype and little b, little b, that is also a homozygous genotype. So that will also be 50%. Pause the video here to attempt this exam question. The answers are going to follow straight afterwards. 
So the exam question was to explain how two brown-eyed parents can have a blue-eyed baby using the Punnett square to show. So it's all about heterozygous parents that are both carrying the blue gene. So you start off with big B, little b, and big B, little b. Both parents are heterozygous. Then you do the cross, big B, big B, big B, little b. Still got brown-eyed children, big B, little b. And here is the blue-eyed baby. So these are the answers. Both parents are big B, little b. Blue eyes is a recessive linked phenotype. Each parent passes on the recessive little b gene to the child. Each parent passes on the recessive little b gene to the child. It's a 25% chance of the child inheriting two little b alleles. Use these answers to go back and check your own work and make corrections. And if you want, write a model answer. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.